everyone, I'm Quinn and welcome to Wayne Rome. Today I'm going to be talking about a few of the things I put into practice to keep myself safe as a solo female traveler. As I've spoken about this channel with my friends and family, the number one suggestion that I've gotten is to make a video talking about safety tips. So I've made this list of 10 things that I employ when I'm in unfamiliar places on my own and I hope it can give you some ideas and make you feel more confident when you're out traveling alone. I especially want you to stay tuned for tip number 10. I never really hear this suggestion on lists like these, but it's made me feel a lot more secure especially as I start working more abroad. My number one tip before you even get on the plane is to keep at least two people in the loop about your itinerary and where you'll be. Send them your flight information, your addresses, what cities you'll be in on what dates, just so they have a general idea about where you are in case anything goes awry. And if you can, maybe even share your location with them on Share My Friends so they can track you if needed. And number two, this sounds really simple, but I think it is so important walk with confidence and be aware. This is something that's come up pretty naturally to me as I grew up in Queens in New York City and it definitely kept me safe as I've been abroad. I walk with purpose, with my head held high, and pretty much with a straight face. I don't wanna look mean and unapproachable, but I don't look clueless about where I am, looking like I'm wandering, looking like I'm lost. That definitely is going to make you a target. And a little addition here, just try to look at your phone as little as possible as you're walking around. This is another thing that just adds to that air of aloofness and make you seem like you're an easy person to attack in any given situation. My next tip would just be to have some kind of crossbody bag that has a closure that's a bit more than a zipper. I think this makes it a lot harder for someone to come by and just try and swipe open the zipper, snatch something out your bag, and close it back without you noticing. I have this bag, it's just an old um, purse, and it has this lock feature, so it's a lot more noticeable if someone's going to try and unlock this than just quickly open a zipper. So I really like this bag, try to have some kind of extra security there that makes it as hard as possible for someone to easily walk by and take something from you. I'd also recommend that instead of having the crossbody bag trending towards the back of you, have it more on the side or the front of you. Obviously when it's behind you, you just don't have eyes back there. So someone can pass by you without you knowing, without you even seeing what they look like. For someone to try and open your bag while it's really in front of you, like in front of your stomach or something like that, it's gonna be a lot harder for them to sneak past you. So just try and keep that bag in your line of vision when you're walking around. And moving to your phone now, I would definitely recommend that when you're in a different country, change your SIM card. When you change your SIM card, you can contact the local emergency numbers with complete ease and call someone in the country if you need to. You can also text someone from home on WhatsApp since you'll have data. It just offers a lot more flexibility and gives you complete peace of mind that you're walking around having contacts that you can make outside of the country and also within the country. And just so you don't get scammed, don't take anything that anyone hands to you. No matter how nice they look, how kind, how old they look, how young they are, it could be a cute kid, do not take anything. So many scams start with someone seemingly harmless handing you a bracelet or a rose, but they use this opportunity to maybe swipe something off of you or they start demanding that you pay them money. We totally wanna to stay away from people like these and err on the side of caution. So when someone tries to hand you something or force you to take something, just politely say no and walk away. Next, take a phone charger with you everywhere. Your phone is your GPS, your way to contact people, your flashlight, everything. You don't wanna be left in a situation where it's dead and you don't have a way to get home or you're lost. That can just create a lot of fear and unnecessary panic. Have a portable phone charger with you and obviously a cable to connect your phone to that charger just so you can have what you need no matter where you are or what time of day it is. This next one, unfortunately, I had to learn from personal experience, but definitely take two methods of payment with you, as in two debit cards or two credit cards. This way, in case one gets swiped or lost, you won't be left panicking, calling home, trying to figure out how to get money so you're not stranded in this foreign country. A quick story from me, how I learned this lesson. When I was in Thailand a few years ago, just a couple days into my trip, I went to get some cash from an ATM machine in an airport. Of course, I literally left my debit card in the ATM machine and didn't realize until I was already on the plane to the next part of the country. I was absolutely freaking out, but luckily this particular trip was not solo. My friend and I came to an agreement where she would cover my expenses and I would Venmo her throughout the trip. I was so lucky that I had her there. I don't even know what I would have done if I hadn't had that option as a backup. I didn't have any other card on me and that would have just been an absolute nightmare. So take two cards with you just in case. 
This one's kind of a fun one, but just make sure that you're talking to locals. They'll tell you what metro lines to avoid, where to make sure you're not alone, things like that. I personally really love talking to taxi drivers. A lot of them have their ear to the ground and they really made me feel safe when I'm in foreign countries. Some of them have even shared their contact information with me just in case I was ever in a pickle and needed some help. So it definitely helps with friends some locals. It'll make you just feel a lot safer and like you're not completely alone when you're traveling solo. Next, I would recommend that you do not take all your valuables at once. Your first instinct might be to keep everything in your bag so it's on you, on your person, and not left alone in your room. But I think the best thing here is to not have all of your valuables in one spot. So if anything happens in one place, your entire world won't crumble. Usually when I go out for the day, I like to have my phone, a little bit of cash, and one card. I leave my passport, my backup card, things like that, at my accommodation and all spread out as well. I'll maybe keep it in a locked backpack, a locked safe. This way my entire world isn't going to crumble if anything goes awry. This never happened to me before, but if my bag got snatched off of me in the street, I would still have a debit card in my hotel room. I would still have my passport to be able to get back home. I'd still have some extra cash. So just make sure that you keep your valuables spread out, but it's still in a safe place. And lastly, this is a little tip from my cybersecurity husband who actually has his own channel called StudioSec. He would strongly recommend that you use a VPN wherever you're going. This is especially important if you're doing any kind of work abroad, but it's even useful beyond that. The fact of the world we live in now is that most networks are vulnerable and that makes your information also vulnerable. So using a VPN is to make sure that your private information stays private. I'm so glad that this has been brought to my attention because I don't only have my personal information to protect, but also my company's information and I want to be really responsible with that. All in all, just make sure that you're using your intuition no matter where you are. If something feels wrong, it probably is. If someone's pushy and you feel unsafe, be certain with them and continue on your way. Avoid secluded streets. Don't give sensitive information like where you're staying to strangers. Don't walk around in populated places in the dark. Just use your common sense. If you have any things that you make sure to do or not do when you travel to stay safe, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I think this is something that we can all share and learn from each other about. With these tips, I hope that you'll feel empowered and secure on your future adventures. I don't want any fear to keep you from doing something that your heart is truly pushing you to do. If fear of your safety has been something that's been keeping you from traveling and specifically traveling alone, I hope this video has helped you a little bit to see that there are ways that you can take ownership of your own safety and that you can go on these trips and still have an amazing time. If there's any other questions you have or clarification that you need, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!